Well, religion is perhaps the most divisive issue on the planet, don't you think? How to teach it in the classroom can prove to be just as divisive. Armola Lange takes us to one Maryland school district that is facing just that divide. Perhaps the most divisive religion today is Islam, and some Charles County, Maryland parents are objecting to the way that Islam is being taught in a high school classroom. One parent who first raised his concerns is a firefighter. He's a retired Marine. He's been to war and fought against Islamic extremists. He says he watched as his friends lost their lives to those extremists. But mainstream Muslims argue that those same extremists do not represent Islam. Students have a reputation for hating homework, but this time it's a parent objecting. As Kevin Wood's daughter recently worked on a world history homework assignment, he asked her, What are you doing? History notes on what? Uh, Islam. I kind of hesitated. And it was like three, two, one. I was like, uh, no. The homework came from her La Plata High School world history class, currently studying Middle Eastern empires. Charles County Public Schools says in this required class, students learn the basics of many world religions and how they shaped different empires throughout history. We as parents should, should, should be able to choose what our kids are learning. I was saddened, but not surprised. Uh, unfortunately, there is a growing anti-Muslim sentiment in the United States. Zainab Chowry says current events around the world have shaped a negative perception of Islam. And the Woods say, if you're going to teach it, include those current events in the lesson. That's, I guess, our biggest concern is how they're teaching it and what is really happening right now in this world. It's not teaching about radical Islam right now and what going around beheading people in America, Australia, and they're not teaching that. They're just teaching that, oh, it's peaceful. It's not peaceful. Chowdhury argues that Islamic extremists are not mainstream. So it's important if these groups are mentioned and students are taught about that, then that distinction is also made. So Students are aware that these groups are not following the teachings of true Islam. The Woods say nearly a dozen other La Plata parents have reached out to them in support. I don't have a problem with it as long as um, all the religions are taught equally. Other La Plata parents seem more comfortable with Islam in the classroom as long as it's an academic discussion, not a philosophical one. The truth of the matters are different discussions. Right. It's not the school's responsibility to teach that. History, culture, and how they relate makes sense. If you're going to be able to live in an integrated society, it's mm -hmm. better to understand it than fear it. If I don't know what the competing views say, then how can I rationally discuss truth? We're not trying to challenge other people's views. These are our views. But they're trying to challenge our views. And they're trying to challenge our, our views. But the challenges seem to be everywhere. Islam is a peaceful religion, and it, the fact that there is a lot of fear and anger in the Western world, especially about the religion and about Muslims, it really emphasizes the fact that we have a lot of work to do. Now, one area both sides seem to agree on is their blaming of the media. Not totally, but they say the media contributes to some of these divisions, from what's ignored to what's sensationalized in reporting. It's a sentiment many Americans seem to share. So as the media, it seems we also have some work to do. Now to see a copy of the homework that was assigned to the La Plata students, just head to WUSA9.com. Well,